With California schools in financial crisis, you would think that administrators would be extra careful spending what little money they have. But the ABC 7 News I team found a major purchase in San Jose that's raising a lot of questions about where they have put their money and their priorities. Yeah, the I team's Dan Noyes is here now with this story, Dan. Well, Dan and Carolyn, you know, it sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Instead of paying outside vendors for lunchroom pizza, San Jose school officials decided to go into the pizza-making business themselves. But they quickly realized they were in way over their heads. Unfortunately, they'd already spent a lot of tax money on one heck of a machine. It's the Pizzamatic, an automated, industrial, all-in-one pizza-making workhorse. It has a dough stamper followed by a sauce a machine. A mammoth stainless steel production line, like those that big pizza companies use. No other school district in the country has one. If at any of the mozzarella cheese falls through the uh, conveyor, it's picked up by the conveyor again. It can produce up to 1,000 pizzas an hour. We can vary the um, thickness of the pepperoni. Well, it could make 1,000 pizzas an hour. How many pizzas have you actually made all together out of this, with this new pizza system? Since uh, I've been here running, we probably have run maybe around 2,000 pizzas total. That's about 2,000 pizzas in two years. So we brought the machine in thinking that we probably could produce, oh, 800 pizzas per day. And that just didn't come into fruition for a lot of different reasons. Part of it was the machine itself. Part of it was inoperable as we brought it into the district. So how did this happen? Back in 2003, the San Jose Unified School District started brainstorming on what it would take to create a low-cost, healthy pizza kids would eat. They decided they would make pizzas themselves on a grand scale. They were going into the pizza business. They spent $720,000 to buy the Pizza Matic and another $2.2 million to build a home for it in their central kitchen. It finally went online in 2007, but they couldn't make the Pizza Matic work. They ended up hiring a consulting company that brought in their own manager. And as you walked in the door, I'm wondering for the first time, when you see that machine, what went through your mind? I guess the first that went through my mind is, gee, what a <laughs> big machine, a lot of stainless steel. John Sixth realized the Pizza Matic needed a full-time technician to keep it running, to keep all those electric eyes lined up. He also needed a crew to clean the machine each day. So he abandoned most of the Pizza Matic, all those gadgets, except for the oven and a couple conveyor belts. Pizza production is now down to just one day a week. Kitchen workers assemble the pizzas by hand, starting with frozen crusts. The Pizza Matic sits polished and empty. It's too complicated and temperamental for the staff to manage. They wait at the end of the assembly line to feed pizzas into the oven one by one. It would have been nice to have been able to use the whole thing all the time, but it's just more machine, I think, than really what we need right now for our nutritional program. The district also never figured out how to get the pizzas to schools all over the city before they got cold. They didn't have enough trucks and drivers. With all these problems, the district's pizza bill keeps growing. Over the past five years, they've been ordering out. $1.4 million paid to Domino's and other restaurants for more pizza. Not everything works out exactly the way we want it to be. San Jose School Superintendent Don Iglesias concedes there have been problems. Some of it has to do with technology and uh, anticipating we had some great plans that may come to fruition, probably in better financial times than what we're in now. He insists the Pizza Matic is still destined for greatness. In the future, he hopes to increase staff, get the Pizza Matic working the way it should, so the district can even make money on their pizza. There's 33 school districts in, in our county. And ideally, and maybe down the road we'll be able to do this, but we were also hopeful that we would be able to produce pizzas not only for our own district, but neighboring districts as well. And that machine has the capacity to do that. Sounds like the pizza matic isn't very matic. <laughs> Parents we talked to were skeptical. There's just so many other areas where our schools could use the money, especially in the classrooms uh, where the kids are actually learning. It just makes me heart sick. It just seems like from a, a business perspective or even a good governance perspective, it just seems like it was a very bad investment. It's discouraging because there's never enough money to pay for the kind of things that you want to do.
School food specialist Dana Waldo has spent years analyzing school budgets. She says she's never seen a project mishandled like San Jose's Pizza Matic. I think it's a good idea before you spend a large chunk of money on a piece of infrastructure like that. I think it's a good idea to first do a feasibility study to make sure that this is something that you can make adequate use of. The district says there's no money in the near future to get the Pizza Matic up to speed. For now, it will continue to sputter along and, with a lot of help, turn out about 100 pizzas each Friday for elementary school pizza parties, one very expensive pizza at a time. We've made good sound decisions over the years. Not everything we do comes out exactly the way we would like it, but uh, we stand by our decisions. And the superintendent has some tough decisions to make. The district has to cut $29 million from the budget by the end of next year. Add up the cost of the pizza matic, the kitchen renovation, and all that Domino's pizza, you have a $4.2 million bill. Now, for that kind of money, they could have bought 28 Olympic-sized pools or more than 200 baseball fields. No small change. Well, send us your comments or tips through our website, abc7news.com, or call us, one 888 for the I team. It's a handsome machine. It's a shame it just doesn't make <laughs> just sitting there all by itself doing yeah. nothing. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what, what a, a story. Mess. Thanks, Dan, very much.